Hello everyone, this is Terripper, and today we are playing Chivalry Medieval Warfare, and this is going to be my first tactics in a very, very long time. <clears throat> and uh, to bring me back from this hiatus, I'm going to be working with a shield, actually. And it's, uh, you just fainted me four times. That's kind of funny. Thing is, I don't like the shield, but uh, this is one of those cases where you can just fuck shit up with it. <clears throat> I'm not actually holding the required weapon at the moment. Thing is, most weapons, you can just look down and, and overhead, but it's, it's not working this time. <clears throat> but that's okay, because I wasn't holding the weapon I was trying to hold, which was a thrusting dagger and shield. This is basically the fastest combination of weapon and shield you can get in the game, to my knowledge. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But this is terrifying, okay? Without a shield, it's terrifying. Let me show you Sans Shield. That's Sans Shield, without a shield. This is with a shield. Whoop, whoop. Let me show you a direct comparison in a moment. So, the thing about this, the thrusting dagger, and buckler shield, obviously you can only do this with the man-at-arms, is, uh, you see, stab, 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 noticeably faster. And overhead, overhead. It's much faster on the attack phase. So if you at all utilize a shield, and it's not hamstringing you, you should definitely give this a try because they cannot react to it under any circumstances. And you can get around shields pretty darn easily. So that is the basic overview of this combination. It's simply faster than a normal dagger shield. Everyone knows that the shield makes it faster, obviously. But what you may not know is, may not have known, is that the thrusting dagger shield is just utterly deadly. <laughs> And if you're a douche like me, you're going to use it. Uh, see, I am not a shield fan. But, um, even so, this is such a fun combo. Because it's so hard to deal with. Now, some of the specific things you can do with this are very similar to the specific things you can do with a normal dagger. And that includes aiming for the feet. Extremely hard to deal with. Because they just can't see you attacking, generally. And it's very hard to get their parry thing going. Very hard to... That was a strange friend picture. Yeah, I need to get rid of that. Nah, it's, it's very hard to deal with that. So, crouch, look at their toes, and do it. Against more skilled players, they're just gonna kick you away and destroy you. But against the vast majority of people... Where'd this guy go? Oh, there he is. So he's a knight now. So let's try it against a knight. See how this works. It'll usually work better against the larger classes. Um, also, uh, be very careful with the shield. <laughs> you see, he can't block a single one of them! He fell to his death! It's, it's tragic. In that situation, as the defender, you need to kick the guy with the dagger and shield. So that's a counter strategy. Uh, obviously, aiming at the feet, it's a risky move. The other player will probably kick you after a little while. So, how do you deal with just general playing, so to speak? Well, you get right up in their face, you stab, stab, stab some more. Stab, just, just stab, just, 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 just stab, 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 stab. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, you just keep stabbing. And stabbing is the fastest attack on this weapon, to my knowledge. Let's just do an offhand uh, speed test. <laughs> speed test. Stab. Overhead. Stab is noticeably faster. Yeah. So, just stab, stab, stab. Get in face hug range and stab. The biggest uh, detractor and um, counter to this playstyle is kicking. So, if your opponent likes to kick, I would not utilize this. Also, if they're an intelligent blocker, Oh, very nice, Charlie Chaplin. Very nice. So, he was an intelligent blocker, and he, he did a lot of movement. Movement is the enemy of your dagger. 
Okay, you need to be able to deal with that. To deal with that, you just need to face hug. You need to get right up in their face and you need to use larger attacks. So I said you have to stab as much as possible, but that kind of precludes you from if they're uh, far away. But it uh, doesn't matter if I just kill them. Yeah, you see, it's a lot easier to do against vanguards and knights. I think I'm having connection issues. Probably. But it's easier to do against vanguards and knights because they're a lot slower. You can get right in their face, you can crouch, start stabbing at their toes. Uh, Man-at-arms are a lot harder to deal with, and to deal with those you have to start, you have to overhead, maybe even do a slash horizontal twisty thing. It can get weird. And I appear to have been kicked. I'm just going to keep talking. That's okay. Connection to host. We'll just find another one. Mm. So the main idea is to, um, to really get up in their face. For any class. You want to get up in their face. You want to stab or overhead. Slashing is, is slower uh, than both, I believe. Okay, we're back in the game with uh, two people, but it's okay. It still works. Oh no, it doesn't work. That's okay. Uh, anyway. What other specific tactics are there for this combination that I can't yet actually show you? Well, you can... Uh, oh yeah, uh, strafing. Strafing, then attacking. That is a good strategy, and we're going to have Zephazar as our test subject, so to speak. <clears throat> Depending on what he's using. If the enemy is using a shield, then you can get around it by strafing and stabbing. You can do this at any time, uh, and we're going to get to fight Zephazar. you got to be very careful about overblocking. When you're using a dagger, you can make your opponent scared a lot of the time. They'll just panic parry offhand. And you need to take advantage of that. Get up in their face, you know? Make them scared. Give them a reason. And back away when you, uh, back away when you miss. Back away when you, ow. Back away when you miss. Almost killed him there. Back away when you miss so you can regain your stamina and come in for another go. Now, like I said, this combination doesn't work against the, the most uh, intelligent of opponents. So, it's going to be difficult to beat Zephazar with it. But let's just go really hardcore on him. Let's get up in his face, make him really scared. Okay, he's using a one-handed grip now. So he's, he's kind of scared. You gotta do this. You gotta get up the tempo. Create your own tempo. Alright. There you go. That's kind of the strafe thing I was talking about, but he, he was really watching me. He just didn't catch the attack in time. Because it's so hard to catch these uh, dagger attacks. And I can't take heads with my overhead. That's okay. So hard to read these dagger attacks. Very, very difficult. Okay, let's see if we can try this again. He's getting the hang of it. The thing about fighting someone using a dagger is you have to be very aggressive. Gotta let the enemy know that you're not done with him. Uh-oh. Okay. When you're out of stamina, just backtrack. Backpedal. Gets you all your stamina back. It also heals your opponent. Also, you need to interrupt your opponent as much as humanly possible. And make sudden movements. That's something I should talk about, yeah. So, you see, I, I kind of, like, spasmed a little bit with my camera. Your opponent sees that as your body moving very quickly, very shortly. And they could, they, they could think that you're actually attacking when you're not. And they parry, they panic parry, 
and you just go in for the kill. And that's what happened right there. So, using this combination, you have to be able to think on the fly. You have to be able to change up your attacks very quickly. You have to be able to utilize strafing, footwork, all of that good stuff at the same time. It's hard to use, but it's extremely rewarding when you, when you make it connect, when you make the dagger connect. Because uh, you, he just blocks, just randomly. Also, when they try kicking your shield out, you need to go in for that quick stab. Oh, there we go. That's something I should also talk about. When you get a stab in, you need to decide whether you do a follow-up stab or not. Because a follow-up stab is so fast. If he's in the middle of attack, generally you want to do a follow-up stab. If you get a stab in just randomly, you want to let him parry. And then you stab after his parry falters. So it's a, it's a big game of cat and mouse. Just like most fights, but this time... Uh-oh. Yep. Your shield can make you very, very vulnerable. Whoops! Thanks for the distance, bud. You need to utilize that distance that, um... Block hopping gets you. Oh, shit! <clears throat> yep. You also need to be aware of the range of your weapon. So that's why face-hugging is always the best distance for this weapon. <clears throat> because... Its range is so limited. Let's try some... Let's try throwing around some different attacks. Mixing some things up. You see? The panic parries. Right from the start. Boom. Just like that. <clears throat> so if you're calm, collected, and you go in for all the good stabs then you can absolutely make this thing work. You just have to know when's the right time to strike. Using this weapon is like becoming a bird of prey. If you go at the wrong time, you get eaten. Which uh, doesn't make sense because you're a bird of prey. Oh, and it's great against those guys that aren't looking in the right direction. Yeah, and, and these guys. <clears throat> if, if you fight someone who's normally very aggressive they'll get extremely defensive against this weapon because they'll realize it's so much faster than mine. Um, despite them thinking their weapon's very fast. Like, let, let me see what weapon he's using. I want to say he's using a sword of war. No, I think he's using a longsword. And now he's using this... <laughs> okay, he's using a man-at-arms. We get to see more man-at-arms versus this gameplay. So, thing about man-at-arms, you need to de-stam them. As soon as possible. There you go. You need to de-stam them, and you need to just get them off their footing. Men-at-arms rely on footwork so much more than other classes because they have so much less life. If you can fuck up their footwork, then you can destroy them. Utterly. Where have you gone? You're up here. Alright, he's a knight now. He's using a messer. Great thing about those weapons is that they're so slow... And their user usually panic parries a lot. It's all a matter of knowing when to block, when not to block, when to attack, when not to attack. He's, uh, he's stammed out right now. And that's a beautiful thing about stamina. Because you can attack so fast with the dagger, you can just chip away at their stamina little by little. So eventually they're dead. They just, they just die. Gone. End of the road. David Jones locker. Okay, that's enough. <clears throat> so let's have ourselves a merry little Christmas with this guy. Oh, post wins. Thank you, sir. You are a kind and fair gentleman. Uh, hey, how's it going? So dealing with these guys that are running side by side, it's, it's great because you can just, you can just do. You can just die. Um, but yeah, 
what I should have done, I should have just capitalized and kept stabbing. If you just keep stabbing, generally they'll realize I need to start blocking. And then you'll be able to kill them because they block too much. Let's try that again. Uh, preferably without the server crashing. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, come hither. Come hither, my fair lady. Alright, let's try this. Alright. So this guy is big on the fighting style of not looking at your opponent. And that's great, but he's... Okay, he's realizing that he needs to start paying attention to me. Nope. Nope. You have to use that range to your advantage. Alright, always. You don't have any range with this weapon, but when your opponent thinks he outranges you, you need to, boom, take advantage of that. <clears throat> it's all a matter of, of, of quick thinking with this weapon. A lot of other weapons, you can just get by with muscle memory. But with this thing, you really need to be able to think quickly on the spot. Hello. Okay, he, he just blocked from nothing. And now I just kill him. Yeah. About 60% of the... No, like maybe like 30 or 40% of the people you fight with a dagger will end up doing uh, just what he did. Just blocking right when he shouldn't. Then you attack, then he blocks again, then you attack, then he blocks again. Then you attack. Yep. <clears throat> That's all it is. Hello, Grave Knight. Come back here. Are, where are you going? Nope. Once you get them in that pattern, they cannot get out of it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, I thought someone said we have a... Archer in here, but I guess we don't. That's good. boop a doop a doop Hello, friend. Um, I don't think there are any more specific tactics for this weapon. Like I said, it's just all about quick thinking. Thinking on your feet. Knowing what's going on in your opponent's head. Using his psychology against him. See, this guy I can tell. He's a pattern guy. He likes patterns. Boom. Done. Post wins. Yeah. Um, post wins, was, if you're watching this video... There was nothing wrong with what you did, but uh, you kind of let me set the tone of the fight. Actually, no, you set the tone of the fight, but I kind of let I let you set the tone of the fight so I could use the openings. Thing is, when you're using a weapon like a dagger, especially with a shield, it's so easy to make your opponent think he's in control. Uh, and no offense to you, Postwins, you seem like a very good knight. You're using intelligent tactics, it would seem, but again, patterns. Yeah, ducking is not a particularly good strategy when you're dealing with this. That was a great, great attack, Postwins. I would have liked to have seen that a couple attacks ago, because then you might have you might have actually killed me. But, um... Uh, that's the kind of thing you need to look out for as a dagger user. Those kamikaze strikes. Like, the opponent is going to take your hit no matter what, but they're going to give you three times as much damage. Hey, bud. Uh, oh, it's this guy again. Alright, so this guy, he likes running around like a lunatic and looking precisely as insane. Gosh, this guy's footwork is spot on, actually. He's making himself a very hard target to hit because he's just running around a lot. It's hard for me to keep eye contact with him. Now that was a mistake. You gave me the momentum of the fight with that. Oh, fuck! But then you took it back by killing me. Nice. <clears throat> so, I got very greedy there. I don't know why I'm still screaming. I got very greedy there. I thought I could take him down if I just rushed down and hit him, but my attack missed. Big failure on my part to think about that. Again, quick thinking. I usually use a Norse sword. I can just use muscle memory, dodge in and out, stabity stab, overhead once in a while, bada bing, bada boom. The thing about this is, you need to be fully conscious. Of where your opponent is at all times.
That could very well have killed me. That should have killed me, in fact. <clears throat> I, I was not thinking about it at the time. Damn it, I was hoping he'd die. Oh, good. Thank you, sir. Well, he's got all his stamina back. But that was his mistake. Yeah, <clears throat> he got into a uh, pattern and he panic parried. That was his mistake. You need to get your opponent to panic parry as much as possible with this playstyle. I want to re reiterate, guys, this is the uh, setup for douchebags. Um, I'm not calling you a douchebag if you use it, but it is just mean. It's unkind. Because it is, it just makes your enemy hate you on such a visceral level. Boom. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to end it here. I don't think there's any more to teach you guys, actually. <clears throat> to reiterate, the uh, the dagger and sh the thrusting dagger and buckler for the man at arms. I think the heater shield will work all the same. Uh, buckler is my preference. It's smaller. <clears throat> uh, some specific. Things. Uh, it's extremely fast. One of the fastest weapon combinations in the game, if not the fastest. You want to stab as much as possible overhead when you have to. Slashes maybe once in a while, but avoid them. Some specific things. Stab at the feet. It usually works. Um, stab really all the time. Get up close, as close as possible. Make the opponent panic parry. Think. Okay, a lot of other classes, you don't have to think while you're playing. You just swing. But this one, you gotta get serious. Alright? Now, let's just do one full duel of me utilizing all of those tactics. Thinking on my feet. Strafing. Getting around shields. That's very important. Making your opponent panic parry. You taking... The, the pace of the game. Setting the pace of the game. That's all about... That's what this weapon is all about. You have the fastest weapon, so you set the pace. Alright? I've beaten people who are using daggers while I'm using a messer because they didn't set the pace. They just kept getting worried about their health. You don't need to worry about your health when you're using this weapon. If you know what you're doing. You can deal with your enemy fast enough that you don't have to worry about your health. Oh, perfect. Men-at-arms are going to be the hardest to deal with with this setup. But, the key is to get them to panic parry and outstam them. In that case, he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. <clears throat> I believe that is all, ladies and gentlemen. That felt really good to do a tactics. Uh, not necessarily do a tactics on the thrusting dagger and shield. Now everyone's going to be using this setup. Dear God, that's going to be horrifying. Don't blame me, please. <laughs> uh, like this video if you learned something. Subscribe as well. As always, have a grand day, and I shall see you kind people next time. Let's go, Argigo. Come on, you can do it. You can pick it up from the jaws of feet. Yeah! Very nice. See you guys next time.